Agile People Conference is important because I get to meet a lot of like-minded people who are all leaders in a complex environment. So getting to know how they tackle the complexity and issues is really important. I'm here at Agile People because there's a wonderful uh, conversation going on where we're starting to see the convergence of many things coming together. So there's people here from all over. They're asking wonderful questions. They're open-minded and they tend to run to question marks as opposed to run away from them. So it's very exciting. The topic of the conference is also extremely interesting uh, with system thinking, how to apply it practically. And there's so many great people here to meet uh, to talk about this uh, exciting topic. So this is the place to be for me today. What I like is the low key environment where people can really meet and uh, exchange their thoughts. Sessions going on at the same time, so there's a lot to learn in a very condensed time. Agile People is an important conference because it makes you look at things from a different way and new perspective, which I find really um, boosting creativity. Agile People moves Agile out of development department and looks at the organization as a whole, including HR, business development, marketing. There is so much need for this booming economy here uh, to really embrace new concepts. And the subjects like the one we are discussing today in the conference is really of high relevance. And Agile People is bringing this really to the companies. Agile People Sweden is doing some wonderful work and it's extremely important at this point in time because we need to be asking ourselves lots of questions, we need to be looking at things differently and not always from our own perspective. The, the more different perspectives we have on things the better and that's extremely valuable right now because it helps people become more agile in their brains and in their way of seeing the world. There we go. Good morning, everyone. What a happy crowd. Good morning and a warm welcome to Agile People Sweden and one of my favorite days of the year, no doubt. Um, good. Jag är här idag på Agile People för att det är en mässa med extra mycket pepp på deltagarna. Jag tycker det är so how many speak Swedish? <laughs> wow, okay, yeah. So uh, anyway, that was the um, some uh, teasers from last year. Today is the fifth uh, consecutive year we run Agile People Sweden. Something that started in a small room with a big idea and uh, that is growing and growing uh, every year since. And uh, if you're here for the first time, uh, or if you're still wondering what kind of conference Agile People Sweden is, then let me tell you. So this is a conference where we take and we pack up a lot of pep, a lot of energy, a lot of possibilities, and a lot of amazing people focused on one thing and one thing only, which is exploring and spreading the Agile principles and values in order for all of us to be able to create better organizations where people are happy and high performing. Um, and this is also a conference where we explore the latest uh, trends, uh, where we get to meet amazing people from different walks of life and uh, all types of businesses. This is also a conference we've learned um, where we've committed ourselves quite heavily to be in the forefront of organizational change. That typically means we're annoying. So if you leave today and you feel a bit more irritated, pissed and annoyed um, compared to when you got here this morning, then we've succeeded, I guess. I've uh, had the uh, privilege of uh, being here uh, several times myself. I ran the 2014 and 2015 conference. And for those of you who, who haven't met me, I've spent the past 12 something years uh, in the intersection between HR and communication. I've, I founded the first internet conference for HR directors. I'm writing currently a book on the state of mind at work, a uh, provocation book, really. Um, you might like it, um, <laughs> given today's topic. But one of my true passions is helping organizations and leaders attract and engage other people. And, and if you're in this space, as you know, because many of you are in the same space, uh, you end up talking and working a lot with the notion of future work. And uh, so today, 
today's topic is really a personal favorite of mine. And I will try to guide you through today to make sure that you have the best possible experience. Um, and today's topic is, um, is really a carefully chosen one. So the future of work, scaling agile to improve work life. Now I think we all agree that there's a shift going on in, in, in the way we do work uh, and, and the world of work. The only problem and challenge is that many organizations are still stuck in the past, struggling, not really being fit for the world of today, even less so uh, fit for the world of tomorrow. So this is part of what Agile People Sweden is all about, trying to help navigate around this. So we'll spend the whole day today and also whole day tomorrow uh, on this topic for those of you who are with us uh, tomorrow. Uh, and to help us navigate all of this, we've invited or we've handpicked uh, a selection of uh, really great speakers who are passionate about this topic as well. And, and they'll be here and, sh and share and care with us. So you'll meet Jürgen Appelo uh, in just a bit, talking about how to scale uh, agility. Uh, James Priest will take us on a tour uh, around enterprise-wide uh, agility and give you a quick intro to the S3. Uh, we also have uh, Bonita Roy, which is um, um, here to talk about self-organization um, and self-organizations and why you should and you can uh, trust it. We're also going to do a panel with the selection of, of these people and uh, we'll have lunch, obviously. We'll also meet uh, Lennart Franke and Göran Nilsson, whom among many other things, have written a book uh, about the Agile company. So they'll be sharing and teasing us a little bit on the content of that. Also, we meet Erik Schön, currently at NetEnt, who will take us through a game changer session, uh, handpicking some experiences from FramFab, Ericsson, and uh, NetEnt. So really looking forward to that. And then uh, we will have, yes, for those of you who have longed for it, we will have the Speechers Coaching Clinic, difficult three words to put together in one, um, which is basically a speed version of a round table where you go in and out as you please uh, to different tables. And uh, at the end of the day, we have the pleasure of meeting uh, Joshua Vale, who will talk about how he's building the most decentralized organization on the planet. So quite interesting. Uh, and that's only for today. So tomorrow there will be, for those of you who are with us, there will be workshops uh, throughout the day and we will not finish up day one in any other way than we've done in the past, which is the mingle and the agile ale. Yeah, yeah, good commitment there. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but um, for you guys to connect and meet each other is, is one of the biggest contributions we can make uh, for today. So there will be lunches and breakfast, uh, not breakfast, uh, breaks, and, um, and the mingle tonight. And we're some 220 people in here, in case you haven't noticed, but I can see it's completely packed. Uh, and it's a world record for uh, Agile People Sweden. So there's a lot of potential of meeting uh, great people. There we go. <laughs> you get to thank the organizers in just a little bit. Um, so this is what it can look like. You know, inspiration and shock in great combination. I don't know. Uh, but we have all kinds of, of businesses in here, uh, all kinds of organizations. We have HR, management, IT, product developers, and what have you. So do make time to connect. Um, and uh, whatever you do, do not turn off your mobile phones. So tweet as much as you like. Uh, there'll be prices as well. We'll tell, them, uh, tell you more about them in, in just a bit. So this is where it all happens. Uh, it'll be happening some things on the screens on the side as well. Um, and uh, we're also trying a Mentimeter for, um, for today. So a chance for us to uh, pop a few questions to you. We'll start in just a little bit, and the other way around as well. Okay. Yes? Is there a Wi-Fi code? Is there a Wi-Fi code? So we're down in the bunker, that's why you're asking. Um, you know, these days everybody has 4G, so they don't need the Wi-Fi, but if you're in this place, you probably do. Um, we'll, uh, what was the Teatro Shepet and then yeah. Teatro Shepet guest? That's it? Yeah. And the code is? Eight eights. So that's eight eights. Yeah. Let us know if it doesn't work out. Um, 
And that was a great intro introduction, actually, because my next move is to invite these two fabulous people, two people that are instrumental in building Agile People Sweden, Pia Mia Torén and Mikael Göte. Give a big hand. <laughs> Welcome. We're back. Yeah, Thanks. it's English, Swedish. We go back and forth. Yes. Uh, we're back for the fifth consecutive year. Yes, it's uh, amazing, fantastic. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Good. Can you see her? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I found some pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but yeah. So how does it feel? Because this is the fifth year. Lots have happened since since the first small room. Um, it feels fantastic, and, and now I feel even more fantastic. I can't even see you almost. And we have all the lights yeah, on. Yeah, so the yeah. lights are here, but all my friends are here today, and uh, James and, and uh, Jürgen and uh, Matthias and uh, Monica back there is drawing. So it's amazing, fantastic feeling, it, you know, filled up, really. And you feel the complete opposite, or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think. We've been planning this for half a year. Yeah. Uh, meeting, self-organizing, uh, meeting together on Skype, Google Docs, uh, Slack, uh, some face-to-face, -face, but um, basically now having everything come uh, manifesting itself today. So uh, it's a great feeling. Good to be here. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Um, and, and what is then the biggest change you would say compared to five years ago? in the movement in general, but also Agile People Sweden. Are there any, what would you okay. nominate as the big changes? Oh, but I think, I mean, we sold out two weeks ago. I think there's a big now movement, big change. Um, going into more self-management, self-organization, new ways of leading, new ways of organizing. I think this is, the tipping point is happening right now. And this is also what we are about, Agile People. We want to, kind of catalyze this shift to move much faster. Yeah. So that's what we're all about and it's so good to see it happening. Yeah, and we are, I think we are in the middle of this paradigm shift right now. And we cannot see this shift until afterwards because you can't see the history happening before. Right. So I, uh, my take is we're in it as we speak. <laughs> and, and why yeah. did you... Uh, from the very beginning, st decide to, to actually create you know, this big conference and why didn't you settle with a small seminar and uh, why did you uh, do this in the beginning? Well, five years ago, we gathered at a conference in uh, Smögen and uh, my colleague, Kalle Blomberg, uh, who is not here today, he had a kid and he had a job and a Volvo, so <laughs> he's busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But he's coming back, I'm convinced. He said, we need to have a conference, he said. Mm. And it, we were all out on the consultancy assignments, so we didn't have time really to manage him because he was new in the company, right? So he said, we need a conference. Okay, but then do it then, I said. We need <laughs> a, a, a training, we need a meetup group. Okay, do it then, I said. I didn't have time with him. So <laughs> that's how it started. Yeah. And then I came up with the name. Agile People is a great name. Let's name the conference Agile People. And we have this need uh, I would say, to change the world, to change organizations, to create people who are happy, who are engaged, who can perform and can really make a difference. Because there are too many people who don't feel good today in their organization. So mm. that's really the mission that we are going after in uh, Agile People. Yeah. Um, and and um, they weren't kidding, by the way. The tickets were sold out two weeks ago, and I worked a lot with conferences, and that <coughs> seldom happens. Everyone buys sort of the last four days because everyone's just so busy. And, uh, and it was good because in the beginning of September, there was like not that many tickets sold. Mm. So um, anyway, a big change from last year is that you wrote this. Yeah. So um, today we have a book. <laughs> there we go. Yep. <laughs> It's a big change from last year, we have a book. Yeah, yes. we have a book. And uh, it will be more books, probably. We will write the next one uh, together, all of us. Yeah, <laughs> but I have a lot of people who have contributed to this book. Uh, Rina uh, from Finland, it's Fabiola from uh, New York, it's uh, Björn from Agile People, Sweden, and uh, Cecilia from um, Beer Westerholm from Stockholm. Um, Bonita Roy, uh, Matti Claesson from King, 
a uh, lot of people have contributed to the book, so it's, I didn't do this book alone. Okay, so it's, so a, it's a pure agile project in a it sense. It is, okay. it is. Yeah. Um, and you really live um, your own recipe in a sense. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, agile people as an organization is self-organizing and kind of self-managing and the kind of a conference just kind of uh, uh, emerged <laughs> from that. And also, it, um, we want this day to be a bit self-organizing. You notice it when you came in, you have to find your own tags and uh, things <laughs> like that. So uh, <laughs> as a participant, you need to step up and uh, if things are not as you expected or so, see what you can do to help or uh, catch anyone of us in the black crew t-shirts and we will try to help as much as we can. Um, okay, and we'll do more things. We will uh, honor the best tweet maker um, what will we do? Uh, I think we will give away uh, one or two books. Yes, and there will be also um, uh, another conference coming up, uh, Remote Forever, uh, arranged by Molud. So we uh, there is also um, a premium pass that you can win. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the kind of best and most tweets today. Uh, there we <laughs> go. <laughs> M Just go all in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, but do pay attention as well. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but there are books and conference tickets, so that's that's a, that's a nice grab yep. uh, if if you're active. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you're not doing this alone. Uh, you have a lot of peers in in, in the Agile People team. Um, where are you guys? Can you stand up, please, Agile People? They're out working. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Literally. They're somewhere no else. <laughs> okay, but okay. there is a whole team. We promise. Mm -hmm. uh, but you also have a lot of uh, friends of the house. Yes. Um, these are the sponsors. Yeah. Uh, we have Dandy People, and Mia and Matthias, they are here today. Uh, we have Squid Agile. Uh, Squid just started uh, one Agile department. So keep your eyes op open after these uh, great uh, consultants. Uh, I see Agile. Um, haven't seen Shannon here. Oh, she's here. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, for uh, certifications, Agile certifications, uh, we have CRISP, where Mickey is working as well. And Green Bullet is my company, and we are also sponsoring. So thank you uh, for thank you. I think a big sponsoring. hand for the partners. <laughs> thank you. Um, all right, and we also have Mentimeter. Uh, one of the questions we had uh, coming here today was, so how many have actually been to an Agile People conference before, and what do you do um, at work? So if we could, um, if we could have, now this code doesn't really, um, it's not really visible, but the whole point is you go to a URL, which is menti.com, and then you use the code which is over on that screen, which is uh, 771902. Uh, and then you pop your answer to the questions uh, and we'll see how many have been here before and what do you do for a living in your organizations. Uh, it's, it's eight, eight, eight times eight, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, yep. We're not doing it because it's easy. So we have a, a, a first happy crowd that's been here uh, once. That's good. <clears throat> to us, it's all, it always a nice uh, proof point to have new people coming and some uh, old, old friends. <laughs> and you know, we're about 200 people in here, so um, this is an indication of speed. But I, I think it's maybe easier to look at that screen, menti.com. Yeah. And then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, in that case, let's just do a show of hands, shall we? How many have been here once before? Okay, how many have been here twice? And how many have been more than twice and you've stopped counting? Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of people that are in between somewhere. But um, it's good, it's good, it's a good mix. Mm -hmm. uh, and how many people in here work in IT? 
Oh, wow. That was easier. <laughs> All right. Yep. How many work in HR? There we go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're my special friends. Um, and uh, what else do we have? Management. Um, management. There we go. Great. Product development. A few. Uh, yeah, there we go. Everybody's into products <laughs> these days. Uh, that's it, right? That's yep. the categories. Okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, that was just to get a feel for the audience. I think let's get this started. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Do you have any final words to the audience? Have fun. <laughs> have fun. Yeah. That's a good takeaway. Take Thanks, Pia, Mia, Mikael. <laughs>